So today I got access to Google's new Gemini Enterprise platform, and I was ecstatic to use it because this is the first platform that is affordable, but also marketed as enterprise level. So ChatGPT, for example, and OpenAI, they have their regular uh, subscription, right? Their $20 subscription or even their pro subscription as $200. But then they also have their enterprise level uh, subscription that is more catered towards larger businesses and teams. Gemini with their enterprise platform has a actually $20 a month business subscription. And then uh, they also have a larger subscription as well. So I was excited to try it out, but I'm just going to get straight into it and say that I was completely underwhelmed. You know, I expected this platform to be something that, uh, you know, they're marketing agents and agentic workflows. And I expected it to be something where it would really enhance what you are already doing. And so I think it's great that it kind of helps bring together maybe existing kinds of tasks that you already do and, and can help you organize how you use these AI tools and you can invite teammates and staff and other people in your company or, or partners you work with to the platform. But it's it's kind of just underwhelming. Um, and so just to kind of like get further into it, well, you have this chat uh, interface here, which is very similar to basically every other chat interface that we've seen. It's kind of looks like a, a AI builder. And so you can take action or uh, code or analyze data, which that's all great, but it's nothing It's nothing new. I mean, quite frankly, this this actually exists on the a regular Gemini platform. Um, and then you have an ability to star so you can save conversations. The agents uh, area, so you can create these different agents, but honestly, these agents are really just chatbots that are the kind of like GPTs or uh, in Gemini, the uh, regular platform they have, they call it Gems. It's very similar to that. You can connect it to some of your documents. So you can connect it to, you know, they have the connectors like some of these other platforms have connectors, Google search or calendar or Google drive. And it's nice that you can search from your Google drive. You could pull in information from your Google driver. But again, that's literally nothing new. And then if I go to the builder, the builder itself, all right, they have this uh, workflow interface here. And what I was looking for was something that could be time-based or, or have triggers um, involved in it. Meaning if I were to uh, create an agent right now, for example, I, I went ahead earlier and I created something called the Insight Extractor. And this will take documents from meetings that I have or conversations that I have, and uh, it will take the transcript and then be able to extract main points from that transcript. But the fact that I have to prompt for it to happen is what really doesn't make it useful for me. So uh, in in the case of an agent, so if I were to open up this agent designer here, what would be ideal is something to where maybe after a meeting is done, it'll automatically uh, analyze the transcript from that meeting that, that was stored in a Google Drive folder. And then it could then go through a set of other steps. But unfortunately, what this is, and if I go back to the uh, uh, the interface for for this agent, what this is is basically again like a custom type of uh, ChatGPT, and it has these sub agents as well. But if I'm being completely honest with you, it, a lot of it doesn't it just doesn't really make much sense to me. Um, like the the this as an any sort of real upgrade to what we already uh, what already exists in the space, and so my. Uh, initial assessment of this is um, 
the fact that it has the word enterprise in the platform is like the best thing that it has going for it. Uh, there's nothing really that special about it. And I think it's great that, yeah, you know, you can organize your AI chats or, or you could probably find some decent use to it, but it's not, um, it doesn't really take things to the next level in any way, shape or form. What I will say is that I, I imagine they will continue to improve on it. And if they if they are able to make this uh, agent builder, if they're able to make this agent builder more like the workflow automation platforms that uh, a lot of us already use, your make.coms, your NADNs, even what Replit is starting to do um, with workflow automation, uh, where it's time-based and you're able to uh, have it do tasks at certain times of the day, get triggered based on activities and and do uh, uh, take real work off of your hands and and do real tasks, tasks then I believe that this could have a lot of uh, potential to it. And I, and I think that what is missing in this whole world of AI automation systems is something that could really bring together the workflows, bring together the AI and ability to build and code in a very succinct kind of way, while also having a space that where you can manage your knowledge and information in a uh, in in a organized kind of way. And so you, you have these different platforms where you can get parts of them and, and you can, you know, sort of create a system around them all. But uh, but I believe that your open AIs, your Geminis, right, your Anthropics, they, they have the potential to to do that because of the infrastructure that they've already built. Uh, something else that also occurred to me after after seeing what these guys are doing, and then also seeing what OpenAI is doing with the their agentic builder, the agent builder, you're noticing these big infrastructure companies starting to uh, get into workflow automation. And it's interesting because most people's concepts of what an AI agent is hasn't been these workflows, right? Like when I when I've described this, I've I've described this as AI powered automation, as agentic workflows, but to call it an AI agent is very interesting. And I, and I feel like, you know, seeing the open AI, seeing Gemini, um, the biggest AI companies in the world basically categorize this as agents is, uh, is telling to where a lot of the, the demand is and, and what the data is probably showing. And so with that said, just four days ago, N8N actually raised $180 million and it was, to my understanding, actually led by NVIDIA. Um, so N Ventures, which is NVIDIA's venture capital arm, was one of the investors in it. And so, of course, NVIDIA is, is the probably most important um, AI company right in, uh, in, in the world. The fact that N8N has raised that kind of money from them, but also just in general is thriving. You know, a lot of people felt like when OpenAI launched their agent builder, that that was going to be the, the end of your workflow automation platforms. But we're actually seeing that OpenAI has really validated the space. And so that's a, a good sign for your N8Ns, for your make.coms. And these platforms have really now fully rebranded, right? Originally, we categorize them as automation platforms, right? And then you could incorporate AI into them. So, so you would then sort of uh, describe it as AI powered automation, but they've, they've rebranded to AI automation platforms, right? AI automation or, or, or agentic AI agent platform, like these terms and terminologies, it's really shifted over the past year. Now you come on to make.com and it says, AI automation you can visually build and 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 whatnot. So this is all this only bodes well, right? The the raising 180 million dollars, open AI launching the agent builder, Google creating this workflow automation uh builder, this this 
what they're calling agent uh, builder within their platform. And it also shows me that it's, the, you know, if we look at make.com and, and N8N, and even a lot of us who are building businesses, you know, off of these platforms and, and providing AI you know, systems and providing services around AI systems and, and building vibe coding, all these things. Um, if we look at ourselves as like the little guys, the biggest companies are actually, they're aware of what's going, they're aware of what's going on and they're aware that the demand is like being created by those who are on the ground more. And so I think that this, you know, we're going to see a, a, a much, we're going to see a much greater f flood with these, uh, with workflow automation, with AI automation, with um, agentic workflows and this sort of combination or merging of uh, no code and code and low code. And and I, I believe platforms like in, uh, N8N and Make.com, you know, Zapier uh, are going to increasingly become uh, more notorious. And um, while we see your open AIs and, and your Gemini's sort of like figure it out and, and understand where the real pain points are in the space, because if I'm being honest, if I look at myself as someone who has a pain point and is coming to a Gemini enterprise and thinking about what I'm looking to have solved, like it, it didn't solve it whatsoever. And like, I will probably use my 30 day free trial and, and like, that's it. So, um, yeah, so we'll hope to see it, could see it improve. Yeah, I'm not gonna come on here and 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 let's like live about it and say like you know Gemini Enterprise like this is like the greatest thing ever. Um, I feel like they, they missed the ball on this to even like launch it in this even if it's something that's going to continue to improve to launch it in the state. I just felt like it didn't just it didn't really make much much sense. And I get that you know this, we're trusting that the security and and um, the the robustness to make this uh, an enterprise platform is is likely there. But how is this really that much different than um, that the regular Gemini? I don't know. So that's uh, what I wanted to talk about with this one. The Gemini Enterprise just launched a few days ago. It was at their uh, Gemini at Work conference, and um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see it as it continues to to grow. And uh, maybe I'll come back on here a few months from now and um, kind of feel differently about it, but. Yeah, this is where I'm currently at with the Gemini Enterprise and uh, and the future of workflow automation.